Hi, you beautiful, wonderful, amazing, lovely, gorgeous people. How are you today? I am brought to you on your screen to talk to you about uh, some more artwork. What's new, right? <laughs> um, I wanted to talk to you today about some artwork that has a lot of meaning to my younger self. Um, uh, when I was younger, I compared my artwork a lot to the peers around me. I took art classes in school and I took AP art, which is college credit and I had full intentions on going to a accredited college in LA for fashion. However, I graduated in the beautiful year of 2020, so my plans ultimately fell through. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah, um, I guess I should just go into a little bit about the backstory of the artwork that I want to talk to you about. When I was younger, like I said, I often compared myself to my peers and I had always known from a young age that I wanted to be an artist of some sort as a career. When I was younger, my mother would bring in these big, big ass rolls of like industrial paper. She worked at J.E. Dunn. If you don't know what that is, it's like a construction company. And she would come in and bring those and lay it out on the floor and I would just sit there and doodle for hours. <laughs> and I was like maybe two or three when I was doing that. And I, I never stopped. I was always, no matter where we went, I had a little drawing notebook with me where I would doodle. I had fashion books where you would like, they had like the model for you and you would just design around it, like the, the clothes. So well, that was me when I was a child. I was always doing something creative. I even um, I would take like pens and I'd hot glue like um, pipe cleaners and googly eyes on them. I had one that I gave to my mother. I named it Steven and, oh no, Scooter. I named it Scooter. And everybody at her work just loved coming in to talk to Scooter or see Scooter, which was like a little pen that I had made for her. And it, it's just a sweet memory because I had always been a creative kid ever since I could remember. I was always with a notebook, always drawing. And it just, it means a lot to me to be the artist that I am today. Because a lot of the times I was very um, nervous about whether my art was good enough, which is really shitty. It's really horrible to um, go through that whenever you're younger. Because I had always known that I wanted to be an artist. And then, you know, whenever you get older and you tell people, they're like, oh, you're not going to do that. You're not going to make that. You need something that's real. You need a real job. And I also grew up in the era of YouTube, so I would see these other people doing what it is that I want to do. And I was like, why can't I do that? And then I would talk about it and people would be like, oh, you're crazy. You'd never make it as that, which to each their own. Maybe I won't. Maybe I will. Who knows? But <laughs> I'd never know unless I try. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm here doing it. what it is that I'd like to do. I hope you sit here and enjoy me babble on about myself. Not in a conceited way, I hope. <laughs> um, yeah, so this does have meaning. Uh, when I was younger, one of the banes of my existence when it comes to drawing were hands. And I know many artists can relate to this. I would sit there for hours at my notebook, just like trying to figure out how the fuck do you draw hands? Eventually, I just gave up. Anytime I'd have hands, I'd ask my friend Layla to do it for me because I was just... I didn't even want to try because I knew that I would fail and I did not take failure very well back then. I put so much pressure on myself to be perfect, to have the perfect grades, be the perfect artist, you know, be kind and nice to everybody, even though they weren't always kind and nice to me. So it was difficult being a young little bean, as most people have difficulties when they're young, <laughs> um, dealing with situations and, um, yeah, I remember my first job that I ever had. I had a, one of my managers asked me what it is that I wanted to do. And I told him I wanted to be an artist. And he said, oh, starving artist over here. And that stuck with me for a really long time. So I thought, wow, nobody believes in me. How am I even supposed to believe in myself? And if you're dealing with that, I'm so sorry. I believe in you because that's ridiculous. I don't understand why, why ask about somebody's dream if you're just going to belittle them for it. It's just, it it's makes no sense to me why even put in the effort to get to know me if you're just gonna make fun of the things that I say I, I will never understand that and if you have or know somebody like that in your life I am so sorry and my heart goes out to you I love you and I would never belittle to you
belittle you for your things that you are passionate about because there is so much negativity in this world. I don't want to add to it. I'd love to see what it is that you think is neat. So please comment down below what it is that you would like to do. And I genuinely hope that you achieve that one day. I don't hope. You will one day. I promise. Um, anyways, I guess I should stop rambling about what it is, what I'm going into, and just start dealing with the story. So, about April of 2022, I was just at home working one day. My boyfriend was in my living room. He was chilling. Um, and I just had the epiphany to just, fuck it. Let's try it. Let's try hands again. And I went on my Pinterest. If you know me, I love Pinterest and I looked up hands and I was just scrolling through trying to find some sort of inspiration and I found it. It was this renaissance painting and it was just, uh, somebody had cropped it to where it's just the hand and I was like I can do that. That's simple enough. I can do that. So I got to work. I was working and working on artwork at the same time and that's often what I do at work because it can get a little dead at times. So it's super 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 nice. I definitely do live a very luxurious life in that sense and I'm so incredibly thankful to have that opportunity to where I can just work and still do the things that it is that I like to do on the side. Um, it's I am so incredibly thankful for that. Uh, but that's not what this story is about. This story is about my first experiences with getting back into drawing hands and now I am just I love it. It's my favorite thing to do. I love drawing hands. It makes me so happy. So let me just show you the first one that I did with my boyfriend in the living room, just chilling. And I ran out to him and I said, Jacob, look at what I've done. And he was so amazingly happy and supportive. He he is my number one supporter when it comes to my artwork. And I just, I, I fucking love him. Anyways, um, this is it. I'm sure a lot of you can recognize the painting just by looking at it. Um, this was my first comeback with hands so it definitely meant a lot to me to see how i did i definitely do see some flaws in it um we're as an artist or the one that who made it i'm always going to see flaws um but yeah it, it comes with practice you know it, it just comes with practice because after this one i created this one and this one is just oh my pride and joy i i find it so beautiful and it's just so classy and i love it it makes me so happy it's um truly something so amazing and beautiful to me and still to this day i am still working on um perfecting hands i do have another one that i can show you let me just try and set that up while i grab it so you can take a look um oopsies I do have another one that I had worked on. A lot of you, not a lot of you, but some of you may be familiar with it. This is one that's not in the notebook. Um, and it's this one. This one is one of my beautiful pride and joys because I just, I put so much love and effort and tenderness into it. And I really feel like it shows. I named this one Tangling with Fear because um, we all tangle with fear. And it's just, it's, it's so fitting for it. I love this one. And I have never drawn a reptile before, so that was definitely out of my comfort zone. But it's my favorite thing to do is to get out of my comfort zone when it comes to artwork because I, I really think I can really find myself and just do things that I had never thought that I would do, like draw a fucking snake. And it turned out so cool and amazing and I love it. And obviously down here could definitely do some work, but again, that's what the beautiful thing about artwork is that you're always going to keep growing and growing and growing. I haven't even reached my full potential and that is what's so amazing and beautiful to me because there is so much room to grow and i am a avid lover of growth it's oh it's so beautiful um it, you really just can completely transform everything just by growing and it's so fun this oh god i just i i love it because when I was in high school, I never would have dared to draw hands. I I would have somebody else do it for me because I didn't even want to try. And now it's turned into one of my favorite things to draw. And that's just, it fills my heart with so much love and joy. Just knowing that I have made younger Jade proud by learning how to draw hands. It's so fun. Uh, it, it really just fills me up with so much joy. Just knowing that my younger self is proud of me because I am achieving what it is that she wants to achieve. And... 
I genuinely hope that you do the same. <laughs> I'm sure I've talked your ear off enough. I really appreciate you being here. I know this video is a little bit shorter. Um, and there's no editing because uh, I don't know how to edit. Sorry. <laughs> I will learn one day, but um, yeah, I just really appreciate you being here, sitting down with me, talking. I love doing this, even if there's no one watching. It's just nice to get out and talk about things that I don't really have many people to talk about. I don't really get to sit here and talk about my artwork. I mean, my boyfriend, but, but I talk his ear off. I'm sure he's done. He's so over me talking. I could... I, I would die talking because I just, I love it. I love it. It's so much fun. Um, anyways, I should probably cut it here. I hope you have a great, beautiful, wonderful day. I wish you the best of luck and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!